You're watching another Nerd Stalker interview. We were funded in June. I started with my two co-founders, uh, Effie Fuchs, uh, Liktag, and Alad Osadin. Uh, and uh, we had just discussed this, you know, probably since January of last year, just like an idea of, of what would be the ultimate tool, you know, for people to come together and use these connections in a more valuable way. Uh, and so Effie is one of the best guys in product I've ever met. Uh, Alad's an amazing full stack um, engineer as well as an amazing manager. And so uh, got that team together. We got funded in June, early June. And then we had the beta up and running in November. And we, had, we went live January 15th. So FE I had uh, I'd helped run product with previously over at 42. They have a social bookmarking service called Kifi that it's amazing if you haven't tried that too. I, I really love their product. Um, and so we had bonded over there, and Effie actually became sort of a mentor to me in terms of product management and how he thought about product and lean methodology and a lot of those things that I started to kind of work into my you know, core principles in, in, in terms of building a great product in tech. It's just crush it 24 seven. Uh, but it's like anything else, you set, surround yourself with great people and you'll, you'll rise to the occasion and be better for <laughs> it, it. It was great actually. So it happened kind of before I even was seeking funding. We got most of our funding. Uh, we actually were, we create our experiment on Twitter and we're uh, tweeting out our uh, tasks. And this guy approached me and asked me what I was doing because I was laughing out loud while I was seeing all this stuff going on. And I explained it to him. He said, hey, you should come in and um, talk to my partners about this stuff. And so I was like, okay. And he put one of his, uh, one of the people he worked with onto our Twitter experiment, and she had posted that she went a microwave. And so my CTO had just actually had his microwave replaced. So we came into the pitch, no deck, in this old microwave, put down this like, you know, $10,000 mahogany <laughs> conference table. And that's, that was the first pitch, and, and that was most of our funding uh, was through that experience. One of the things that's been really important so far is the amount of autonomy everyone has. So there's no hierarchical, I tell someone, hey, we need to hit this metric and you better hit it or, you know, your ass is on the line. We really sit down with everyone who's the expert in their given field, whatever that is, you know, as macro or micro as it is, and say like, hey, you know, here's our big goal this month. What do you think you can do? What's your goal? And they set that out there. And then it's not a aggressive conversation because you know everyone's setting their own goals as to when they're going to accomplish something what's a success metric we set both success me success metrics and uh failure metrics so there's a range there of like oh this is a red red flag this is like okay it's somewhere in between and this is if you get over there you know you killed it you did a great job and so that allows a lot of fluid easy conversation and accountability and i think self-accountability um, once said out loud, which is a lot of what we're doing as a product, really, right, is, can be really powerful. That Best thing to gain out of that, you know, you always try to learn from every experience you have, is the value of lean methodology. The value that we were testing this concept and trying to prove its core value so early that people could experience it, you know, whether it's users. And our CTO joined when he was part of our experiment, too, uh, just because he saw how amazing the potential was here. Um, and so I just think, you know, if you are going to build something, keep it lean, find that core value, make sure it's there. Uh, and a lot can happen really early if you do, if you do it right. I actually making a lot of the stuff I'm doing with the product, especially in terms of feature pipeline and um, ways we're already interacting with users like events and t-shirts, etc. I make that all public. And so, you know, our users see that stuff, especially our users that are fanatical about it and, and will comment on all those things and impact it directly before we ever get to implementing that feature, which is fantastic. Um, that's pretty unique to our product. Um, some of the other tools we're using, Intercom, is really, really great. We love using Intercom. Um, and that's and we're also using Appsy for analytics, which, uh, which allows us to, um, it just gives us some things other analytics uh, don't. One of the things we came out with today is updates. Uh, the ability to update your task and bring it back to the top of the feed to allow people to tell stories, to get help from the community again, uh, and just to re-engage in, in a lot of ways. Uh, and so it's very lean the way we did it right now. And our hypothesis was we saw a lot of people creating goals.